All right, all right, all right. How's everybody doing? Uh, this is going to be, might not be quick. I'm going to try, but I've already did this part of the Holy Magella. This is from the Old Testament. I think they call it the Nazarene Genesis. Let me see. Yes, the Nazarene Book of Genesis. So this is chapter 14. I've already did it, but I think it's like when I didn't have a microphone and um, I think I made the video like 40 minutes, maybe. I, I'm not sure, but it should say the bar here, Shabbatium, uh, the fourth candle, the 12 tribes of Israel. I mean, the 12 tribes of Yesarel. And um, <clears throat> so what I'm seeing, I think there's seven candles all together and they each illuminate a different part of the nation of what Yesarel is. And so this is really good, but I'm going to read not the whole thing. And if you do want to hear the whole thing, you can go look for that title on my channel from a few months back. It was um, now this is talking about. This is really good. I wish I could read it all again because it's so important that it wouldn't matter if I did it six times in a video. But this is like, listen, <clears throat> it says something up here. It's not going to be okay. This is pretty good. I don't know where to start or stop. Let me see. Even as you found Yesarel, which is the nation of those in right relationship with Elohim. There, this is the Lord and the lady talking to Abedale when he first became, and I've already got those videos on there, he became the first priest. And so there have been these Nazarene Genesis was written by Abedale's hand, it says. He was the first one and the Holy Megillah was written by him with the help of the Tree of Life. Because it just it says, I got those stories on there too. But so it says, you will be greatly outnumbered. I just want you to know who he was talking to, Abigail, who eventually when he died, he became the angel uh, named Gabriel, the messenger of Elohim. So he, he was telling you'll be greatly outnumbered in all the multitude of nations outside of Yesarel are united by one thing. They wish to rule in place of Elohim. Yea, they struggle against Elohim when they should serve Elohim. Wherefore, we call those nations Yisrael, which means he who he would rule as Elohim. For to this world has come Lucifer, the soldier of Satan, and has planted the tree of Yisrael in the soil of life of this world. For due to disobedience to the unwritten law, Adam and Eve fell and became citizens of Yisrael. Yea, due to the Nepal, which is the fall, there was need of the raising. Wherefore, you shall establish the Nasarian priesthood on this world. For with the fall of Adam and Eve, Mavet, the way of death, or Mavet, entered this world. And wherever there is Mavet, there is need of raising which is resurrection from the way of death unto the way of life. And those of the way of life and um, in the Lord and Lady are the Nasarians. And even in dispersion, we are one nation, though scattered amongst the towns and nations of the world. Lo, when the days of dispersion comes of the Quezbutazat and no more continue to meet in hidden congregations. Let's scroll down some because this ain't even... It says... Let me see. All under the guidance. Oh, so all of the different says are no more continue to meet in hidden congregations. But when conditions are favorable, the Asarel will form Kabutazats, which are communes of the Essene way. And all Kabutazats are under the guidance of M. Heke, Hekal, M. Hekal, the Mother Temple. Behold, Yesarel is one nation united in Ma Ase Kodesh, which is holy work. Wherefore, all citizens of Yesarel perform Ma Ase Yah, 
the work of Yah. Yea, all are O Sim, all are workers. Every member of this nation performs the raising up of oneself and others. For we are Nazarene. Every Nazarene in, is a healer of the nations. For we live and teach the Essene way. <clears throat> Even so we express Ma'ase Kodesh in a variety of ways according to the Ose Tezedik, which is the righteous activity of the 12 tribes of workers. Yea, the Quezubut, the Quebutzat of Yesarel shall be Shineim Asar Shavet HaOvadim, which is 12 tribes of workers. Lo, each tribe is a spoke of the one wheel, that is the one nation of Yesarel. Therefore, the 12 tribes will not live separately one from another, but will live amongst each other. For behold, a wheel missing many spokes will collapse. Therefore, when conditions permit, the Nasserian nation shall form Quibut dots, and each Quibut sa will, stri will strive to enlist members of each tribe. Now behold the 12 tribes of workers of the one nation of Yesarel. Okay, so it says these 12 tribes are workers and they're supposed to live together because they're all a part of this one wheel, which is one nation. So like I said in a couple of videos before this about the chief angels, because most of them became the first leaders. Well, the first, I'm gonna go back to it because I just, I think I just said it backwards, but this is let there be Shabbat Nazarim, the tribe of priests and priestesses. And then it goes on and on and on and talks about all the tribes. And Abedel was the first. But when Abedel was given, being given all of this information and told how it was going to work and told what it was, there were no, he hadn't sounded the quarry yet. So there were no tribes yet. This is just the Lord and the Lady's plan and how this priesthood that exists on worlds that have fallen. And so this ain't the first world. It was already in existence. That's why in one of the things you heard Abedel say, I'm, I'm going to establish a priesthood, but not in my own imagination. One that was already of the Lord and lady that had been, because this is not the first go around. This is not the only world. And for most of us, it's looking like what it's saying in this Holy Magilla that this is not our first time on maybe not even on this world we've been existing for a long time and i think that's really what is um amazing uh but um right now i'm going to actually go to where we, i was reading to you and i left that part out when we got here in the i think it was the bar here shabbatium no 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 sorry it was the the video I just did about the these ten people who heard the Quara Hakodesh, and then after Abigail and Adam and Eve sounded the Quara throughout all of Cush, it was 157 total in number, and that was that included Abigail, Isha, Adam, Eve, Rapha, Judah, Shira, Ada, Ria, Elzabad, Onam. Ebed, Yashar, and the 144 converts. So I told you, they go up on the hill and then they reach the top of the mountain and then Abigail revealed this, uh, all of the seven candles. And when he got to the fourth one, it illuminates the 12 tribes of workers for the nation of Yesarel. And then he named, all these people I just named were the leaders of the 12 tribes and there was a tribe of priests uh, there was a tribe of healers and there was a tribe of lions which is the martial artist Judah this guy over here who kicked those seven dudes but uh, if you haven't watched the video you might not know what I'm talking about but Judah and also you know I can say it now because you can go back and watch the chief angels video and it'll tell you that judah it'll i read to you where judah you kicked those seven dudes butt that beat up rapa and were about to rape her 
And when he died, him and Rafa were married. And then when they died, they became Michael and Raphael. So, but first, before they died, they were the leaders of these trucks. They were the first leaders, the first chiefs or chief tens, chiefess. However you say it for the female, you say Ziquana. So they, these people right here were the first leaders, chiefs of the first 12 tribes on this world. And some of them had been from other worlds. They probably was been doing it for who, forever. How, how does it say it? <laughs> um, an eternal now, you know, forever. There's no separation. The now is forever. But I'm probably babbling on. But I wanted to show you these 12 tribes because they're 12 tribe of, tribes of workers. You heard how it said it. And they're not... Um, related by blood or of one man, they're not, and they're not named after them. It, you don't say like, like, like in, in what the King James Bible where you have the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe of Levi. I don't think that these tribes of workers were named after anyone specifically. Judah became the chief of the tribe of lions. So this is the tribe of Shavet Ariat. So you would say, you see how, you know how a lot of people say, well, I'm, I'm from the lion of the tribe of Judah. Well, it's not the tribe of Judah. It's the tribe of lions. Judah was just the first chief of the tribe of lions. So the way that we have, the, we understand the 12 tribes in the King James Bible is different that's about a bloodline thing this is not about a bloodline thing and it's not the tribes are not named after a person they are named after their the title is of what they do so you have the tribe of healers you have and it's all in the um and um the reason why they might have the names too of it because is they were the first. So I guess you could say the tribe of Judah because he was the first one. Then you would have Shira and Zikwana was of Shira. So she was another one of those who heard the, the Quara. She was Zikwana, which is the chief best, the female of Shavet Shirim Ba Davarim, the tribe of songs and words. Okay, so, and this was fitting for her, for her joy was to lift up the spirits of others with her angelic voice. So we had a tribe of song and words. Then you had the tribe, Elzebad was the chief of Shevet Rekushium, the tribe of gatherers of materials. So then you had the tribe of Adam was uh, chief of the Shevet Ikarim, the tribe of farmers. So you wouldn't say I'm from the tribe of Adam. You would say I'm, you know, that there was a tribe of farmers. Okay, and then it goes down. It's just twelve of them. We're probably almost done. Ada was Zikwana, chiefess of Shevet One Oneim, the tribe of artists and and crafters. Okay. Onam was chief of Shevet Parashim, the tribe of skilled tradesmen. Ebed was a queen of Shevet Ovadim, the tribe of service workers. And then Yashar, he was the chief of Shevet Rosh Shalim, the tribe of merchants. Rhea was the of Shevet Roim, the tribe of shepherds. Eve was the chief of Shevet Archerim, the, the tribe of other acceptable work. Behold, after receiving the bar here, Shabbatim, all were instructed in the Nazarene teachings and baptized. And the elders and elderses and certain others of the assembly were trained for the Nazarene priesthood. For even though some elders and elderses work, would work at occupying occupations outside of the priesthood, it was important that they were well versed in the Nazarene teachings. And then that's when the village was built. And it was named Jerusalem. That was the first one. It says it was in Ethiopia. 
and don't confuse it with the latter city in Israel. Because we see now that the, the, that this first 12 tribes, it said they were a part of a wheel, right, of the nation. Let me see. I'll read it one last time, then I'm going to get out of here. So the Quetzalcoatl of Yesarel shall be of Shanaim Asar Shavet Ha'ovadim. So the 12 tribes of workers, not brothers, workers, you got work to do in this nation. It's raising yourself up and raising others up. Each tribe is a spoke in the one wheel that is the one nation of Yesarel. Therefore, the 12 tribes will not live separately one from another, but will live amongst each other. For behold, a wheel missing many spokes will collapse. Therefore, when conditions permit, the Nasarian nation shall form Quebutazots, and each Quebutasha will strive to enlist members of each tribe. So you would have a full wheel in your uh, congregation. I think it says these, these Quebut, they might tell you what they, let me see. Yeah, so righteous activity. <clears throat> All right, I'm about to get out of here. So that was fresh. That's what the 12 tribe of workers were. And then, um, so now the video I just did about Joseph or Yosef, the Ara Matatia, and it tells you that he was chief of the tribe of lions that was the workers for the security, workers for the, the you know, traveling anywhere anyone would go. And they were started, all of these tribes were started with Avidale and these, these, uh, these, these people that I just, okay. these 144 and, uh, has to, sorry, right here, 157 that had first heard the Kuala, no, Aquara Hakodesh. And then when you hear the drumming, then you 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 hear the Kuwalaya, which is the voice from within. And those were the first set, the first, this was the beginning, the establishment of the first nation of Yesarel. And it ain't got nothing to do with bloodlines. It ain't got nothing to do with being a man. It just got something to do with where your soul is at in your evolution of self, I guess, and, um, and, and raising up on the ladder of consciousness. And, you know, so, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get some more good stuff up there. And last time I told you, isn't it funny how it talked about the 144 on a page 144. So you will see if you can see this writing and these numbers to these verses, there's another message in that you want to um, gather as well. I, I feel like it's a second witness when stuff like that happens. 144 converts. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I said, Ali Ali Oxen free. Come out, come out wherever you are. We don't have to hide anymore. <laughs> no more. The game is up, right? I think that's what Ali Ali Oxen free means. It's so, um, yeah, calling it truce or something. All right. Stay tuned.